Okay, so the complaint today is that the chillers keep tripping on flow. They, they've lo they lose flow, and so they throw an alarm and they turn off. So, when I get here, pump number two was running, pump number three was running, pump number one has the disconnect off. So when I test the automation, everything works as it should. Pump two runs, turns on and off as it should. Pump three turns on and off as it should. Pump one, of course, the disconnect is off. So that doesn't work. So I notice when we're turning on pump three, turning on and off pump three, it sounds different than pump two. Well, no, the, actually the first thing I noticed was when I touched pump two, it was red hot. Uh, so it's, boy, it's doing a lot of work. And you also notice that this one, these two are old and this one's been replaced. <clears throat> so pump two, very hot. Pump three, not doing any work at all. It's nice and cool. Uh, the other thing I notice is when I'm looking at these pressure gauges, there's no difference. So across pump three, so this is, you know, the input and the output across the pump. There's no pressure difference across the pump. It was 40 on both of them. When I go to look at pump two, there was a 25 PSI difference. It was probably 45 and 65. So pump two's uh, doing some work. And so I double checked that again at the chillers. We got a couple of gauges at the chiller and the same result. Um, when you run pump three, no difference at the gauges at the chiller. When you run pump two, you get some uh, PSI D difference, or differential. So, yeah, so the other thing was when I turn off pump three, it spins down really easily. I mean, it just keeps on going forever. Just spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, and typically, um, they don't take that long to spin down. So I think, okay, there's no resistance on this motor. So then I'm looking at, <clears throat> you know, there's a coupler in here that couplers the, it couples the, the impeller shaft to the, output shaft of the motor. So there's a soft coupler there that um, it does two things. It uh, softens the start so there's not such a jolt on the system, on the shaft. And it also acts um, as a breakaway if, the, if something happens to this impeller, um, this will shear. It'll shear the coupler rather than shearing the shaft or damaging the motor. So then I get to looking at it as it's spinning down and the output shaft there I can see spinning and the input sh the imp the impeller shaft the, the input shaft for the impeller was not spinning so the coupler is even without having to take this thing off I know that the coupler has been sheared so that's going to be the problem and and so then the reason why the chillers keep tripping off is because in the automation uh, pump number three is the lead so as the lag drops out they're losing all flow and uh, the chillers will shut down in alarm. So probably they start with, they're starting with chiller, uh, pump three is the lead, starting with pump three is the lead, and then eventually bring, and nothing happens, the chillers don't turn on, and then uh, eventually uh, pump two as the lag comes on, and then the chillers fire up, but then as the lag drops out, they've got nothing, they've got no flow at all, and the chillers trip out on alarm. So that should be the problem. Um, so we're going to, in the automation, we're going to switch pump two to be the lead and that will alleviate their problem. But I'm also going to report to them that they need to fix their, their coupler and they probably ought to fix that guy too.